Hey guys, guys, and welcome to our video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your own stickers. If you are new to our channel, it would be amazing if you could hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. So with any further ado, let's get started. started. The first step to making your own DIY stickers is to draw out the designs. If you guys don't feel like drawing or if you don't like drawing, you can also just print them out. But I like to draw them so that I can personalize them and make them the way I want to. You guys can draw whatever you'd like, but I'm drawing five food themed things for this video. And they're going to be an ice cream, a donut, a watermelon, a pineapple, and a cup of coffee. After you're finished drawing your designs, you're going to take a black outlining pen and outline all of your designs. You guys can skip this step if you want to, but I just think that outlining it makes it look a little bit neater. Now I'm just going to take an eraser and erase all of my pencil lines. The next step to making your DIY stickers is to color in all of your little drawings. I'm using markers and pencil crowns for mine, but you guys can use whatever you'd like. Now I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut out all of my drawings. So my sister has cut out all of these drawings and she's left border in some of them. And I recommend leaving borders in the ones that have thin lines like this one. And she hasn't left borders in the other ones like this one right here. And it's totally optional. You can do either one. So I'm just going to take my parchment paper and take a piece of packing tape that is bigger than my drawing and put it right onto my parchment paper and make sure it has no bubbles. And I'm going to push that down and I'm going to take my drawing and put that right on top. I'm going to take another piece of packing tape that is the same size as the last one and just put that right on make sure there's no bubbles in this one too. And just push that down and peel that off and take a pair of scissors and cut around it and make sure you leave a border in the tape or it won't work if you don't. Also, I forgot to tell you that my sister cut out the middle of the donut with an exacto knife instead of scissors so you guys can do that too. And there you go, your sticker is finished. After you are done making your stickers, you can store them on the piece of parchment paper and whenever you want to use one, all you have to do is peel it right off and stick it onto the thing that you want to decorate. These stickers work just like regular stickers and are great for decorating pretty much anything. 